Hello YouTube fans, here again. And a video I know has had a beans on its way to talk about this one. I remember talking about this a couple of days ago, believe it or not, this back probably on one of my early days when I was doing the YouTube and it was a good one and it inspired me to do it once more. Because it's near Halloween, it just inspired me and this really does so the hypnopita, big word for me, and the stupidity of the government even back in the golden days of the 1980s. That's right, it does. For people who don't know what the fuck I'm on about, let's go and rewind back into 1982. Now, people want to know what the fuck I have a bit this day, but it's, and what's it got to do with Halloween? Well, in 1982, remember before we ever had DVD, Blu ray, Laser disc, all this fucking media you have nowadays, we can watch whatever you want. Before we ever had all that technology, we had the thing called the VHS. Now, I'm not going to talk about the beta mats and the VHS and they were in black or we want another and they were in war. I'm not going to talk about that. You want to see that? My channel's still up, there's a little bit of that on that. What I'm talking about is an error called the video nasty. Oh, that's right, the video nasty error. Now, believe it or not, in the early 80s, there wasn't reparated movies, they did not rate movies, there was no 18, there was no 15, there was no PT or no Universal and all this shit. There was none of that. Movies, as we know, in the golden days of theatrical beliefs had a rating that was either an X, and I remember saying this, not porn, it was either a GP, which was basically a password for PT rating, it was an R, or it was all this. They never really had the restricted of the 18 other ratings what we did on the done days of video and what was happening was a lot of these foreign films have an italian dubbed in english and unknown movie makes at the time vhs was a big competition it was hard to believe but the vhs if that's the word right it was big and it was popular people were buying them in bats you'd go to your local tarads videos you could go to your local fucking market videos, your local little paper shop, videos, they were bid. And the biggest thing was always the thing called the video nasty. And at the time, it was taken basically off the comic books and it was an article about the nastiness in the books. You know, the old 50s books, like all the books, like Dracula and Rats and Monsters. And this guy did an article, and one of them was the stream of nastiness and it inspired the video nasty. And at the time, you had this fucking woman called Mary Whitehouse. If you're around in the 80s, you know who I'm on about. And she wants to suppress anything. It took us this, she had a pair of tits on TV. It took us this, she had a pair of boobs on the newspaper. I shit you not, it took up this to solve that. Took them this. So I want you to listen to art. I want to talk about the films. Because when the video nasty come out, there was um, a PP fee list. And they had different serial numbers, like the PP13 or the PPD8 of what was suitable and what was unsuitable. The one with the highest one was the one that would be taken off the shelf. It would be banned and so on. And it's stupid, right? It's stupid. Because what happened was the government got involved and so on. Because this lad thought it was funny to have a copy of Cannibal Water Toss. I remember reviewing Cannibal Water Toss, which it does was... This is the daddy of the video, Nasty. And he posted it of all people to Mary Whitehouse. I'd love to see her face when she watched that film. And um, she had a win, she had a ride, she cried the way first, she'd had a ban, these disgusting films. Oh, all the shit about corrupting the lung people, where all the kids are going to be fucking psychos, the lot. It's just thingy. Now, at first, I got it right, we rate the film. But the only thing is, it cost a lot of video markets and video stalls a lot and I mean a lot of money to do all that shit and it was all right to do that you know I remember saying this I remember saying it but a sticker on it with a warning label to change in defiance unsuitable for kids put it high up pub themselves but no 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 the Tories being what they were even back in that era wanted you to press it they wanted to make a statement and save the roof of the day so they have, a, they have a censored the film, cut the film to shit. So many times they went off, so we needed an update. Fucking nuisance, eh? So I have to listen to ours and combine them to death or Where was that? So they had to um, they had to censor them, cut them to shit, 
all the took if there's really high up on the level they got banned there's so many films due day are banned the films due day we can get on dvd like cannibal fairlock and other films cut to shit cut to shit one day i'll talk to you about the bits what was cut to shit there are some films now i'm happy to say you can get beliefs like zombie fessy us that was on one of the 32 lists which we now get in its uncut form at last a ray but there's two films out there like i spit on you dave i just said it cannibal fairlock eating alive and whatever Cut to shit. Cut to fucking shit. I'm not even making it up. They are cut to fucking pieces. And I feel sorry for the video stalls because the piece had the power. Just like nowadays, the government is so stupid. They could go to your video stall and they could take all your fucking videos and they could also give you an FD find. There was one man as a sample, like, and there was an honor movie, one another video on that it's called Nightmare in a Damaged Brain. Right, and he managed to get an uncut copy, right, and he was selling it, easy fucking money, and he got put for so many months in prison. This isn't bullshit. This was how stupid they were back then. They actually put a man in prison for selling a copy, uncut, renting a copy, I should say, of Nightmare in a Damaged Fucking Brain. What the fuck? What the ultimate fuck? So some of the stupidness what our wonderful government did is diabolical. It is fucking ludicrous. Some of the daft things they did back in the golden days of the early 80s. They could get away with raiding a stall, take your videos and so on. Because the government wanted you to press it. And there was a guy called, um, if I remember rightly, called Martin Brighthouse. Right, that's called Not Very Bright. He made a thing on the TV. You can find it on YouTube. He says, this will turn up kids. And it's also, it can turn up dogs. So if you're not hearing things, it can also turn up dogs. It can, dogs don't like it for some reason. They go barking mad. Seriously, it's a fucking article where he, he made out. You had these stupid people of sadistics. Scientists going to stool, asking kids in a stool what these video nasties they were watching. And half of them were made up. Because you know what kids are like. Kids will make things up to impress their mates. They will impress, impress their mates. Oh, I saw Dracula bites Frankenstein. Or I saw the blood of the fangs. See, I made them up. They don't even exist. And kids were making it up to impress their mates in stool. At the time, the kids didn't even see them films. And they tried to press it, saying it was a surprise to young people and they will all be fucking psychopaths. They walk around on a killing spree. <laughs> it's laughable. It's laughable. And I do apologize if you know what I cut at an half of my film, my fucking thing needed updating and it knocked me off. How fucking annoying is that? Hopefully it won't do it again. So if you do notice there's a cut when I was talking, that's your answer. Next time I'll cut off the internet when I do this film and then re edit, then it won't be a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> So, yeah, at the time, the government was just wanted you to press and they took away the video nasties and there were no more. And then we had the referendum of them um, putting the 15, the 18 and so on. And it's like I said, when they re release films like Cannibal Fairlock, fucking I Spit on Your Dave, fucking Last House on the Left, when we eventually got them, they was cut to shit. You can now get Last House on the left in its uncut form. You can get other horror films, like originally with video nasties, uncut in this country. But there are still some today what I cut to fucking shit. Cannibal Fairlock is a pine example. That film is cut to fucking pieces. I managed to get a total uncut version. I'm not going to say how. I'm not going to admit I broke the law. But I managed to get an uncut version of that. Same as I Spit on You Dave. And other films. But there are some films that are still banned and are hard to see today. Some of them are like your German, Nancy, Potatoes films, you know, to do with World War II, the Dontation Champs, like SS Experiment, um, all them, you know what I mean? Like Love Champ Seven, 
one of the very first of these tramp films what was taken off the self state away. I've seen it, it's laughable as fuck. Then you had ones like Beast on E, SS Experiment Tramp, I remember reviewing that. I don't be, to me, it's the torts upon from beginning to fucking end. It's an excuse to see tits. Yeah, it's bad, it's bloody, bloody fucking awful. The acting's terrible, the dubbing is fucking horrendous, the story is old TT. I've got the uncut one, I've got it on my hard drive, it's now to boast about, but it's, you can't get it on DVD in this country. I don't know if it's cut to fuck or it's uncut, but you can now get it, but it's very hard to get. Very hard to get. But there are some films, like the S Experiment Tamp films, you can still not get today. Still not get. There was one called uh, The Last Order. This is some porn people. It's a movie called The Last Order, which is one of the best. I remember talking and reviewing it about a woman going about her um, days when she was a prisoner with her tactics, the one who was under the sergeant, German sergeants, and it's all fast bats when she was a prisoner. There's a bit where they tip a woman in acid. I'm making that sound worse than what you see in the film. The film, pff, not really that bad, but even today it's banned in this country. Banned. Funny thing is, you, you can find it in certain ways. I'm not going to say how, but you can find it. Like I said, there's a bit where they dip a woman in acid. There's a bit where the torts in the woman. There's a bit where they burn this poor woman alive. And they're all dancing and ripping the shirts off and getting off in it because they fucked up. They dead, the German soldiers. It's based on that error. I'm not, I'm not insulting German people. It's a different time, a different era. It was based on World War Two. But because it's so upsetting to the people who probably were prisoners, some of these films, and because it's a touchy subject, are still banned today in this country. So there's a lot of these video nasties, and it's like I said, they took them off the selves, they banned them, they depressed them. They had a fucking field day with these films, a fucking field day. And I feel for the people that was working in your rentable shops, because... Like I say, they got a find. Some of them went to prison. And next time I do this, I'm going to talk about the films that was on the um, PP9 list. I mean, there was a 32 list. There was always changing the titles. And this really sums how fucking stupid the piece are. If ever anyone remembers a Burt Reynolds film, may he rest, with fucking... Betty fucking... That'd be the name. Dolly Parton, woman with the big boobs... If anyone remembers that film, The Last um, Little Whore House, which was your typical sex comedy film. If anyone remembers that film, well, believe it or not, in 1983, the piece raided it and took it off the video store. <laughs> and I'm laughing because anyone that's seen Best Little, Betty, Best Little Whore House in Ta Texas with Burt Reynolds and Dolly fucking Pit City Parton, it's a fucking funny as fuck. It's a comedy. It is a comedy. It is not a nasty whatsoever. They took away the one called the Big Red One, which is just a typical fear and war film. They took it off the, the market. And there was not even a fucking... It wasn't even a video nasty. So there was, the piece was just chewless. They were going around, raging videos, checking whether they were nasty or not. So the piece basically had the looks of sitting there watching other movies all fucking day. And it was laughable. It's to look at it now, all the way back in the 80s when we had our rentable video stalls. Some of the fucking stupid things they did. I just the news being the fucking news, they all for fucking it saturated it. You had it every fucking day, newspapers, really dead thematic. You had it on the news, how they're gonna drop the lung people and they're all gonna be evil. Every day it was on. And it's like I said, the tourists, even Labour, even them were fucking wankers for racing your time. But the tourists got what they wanted. And the, But the thing is, just like they did back in the days of Covid, even though that's a different tech of fix, they got what they wanted and they depressed the video nasties. Now, I'm not one. I am not one for censorship. Never have been. Never have been. But to me, this is how I see it. To me, it's up to you what you want to watch in your own home. If you're doing no harm, it's up to you. Mary White House was saying she's never fucking seen one of these and she's too intellect to watch one of these. But seriously, seriously, that's her fucking issue. She doesn't want to watch that. 
don't watch it. I'm not speaking of the dead and also no longer with us. If she don't want to watch porn off the field, women with tits out and blood in door, that's up to her. That's up to her. But for you, it's up to you what you want to watch. I'm not one for censorship. So the next one I'm going to do is about the what was on the TPP list and some of the titles, some of them we never can ever see in this country anymore. Some what are still cut to fucking pieces. And, and the next one I might talk about is the scenes what were cut. So into them, be smart, be safe, and it'd be a good journey for Halloween. <laughs>